got to be um, somewhat emotionally taxing, or are you able to to separate that? Because that you're dealing with a lot of bereavement and, and people who are in a very tough period, and and that takes a special person. Well, you know, Tom, we never get to bury our enemies. We always bury our friends or strangers who, over a five-day period, become family or friends to us because we're so working so closely. So I do get emotional. I'm a I'm an emotional guy, and my kids always say it's a cheerful goodbye to me because I care about people, and that's something that ventriloquism has brought out of me as well. This convention, which is my second year here, has become a family to me. Yourself, Dr. Bob, Vinny, Jimmy Nelson, all the people that come, it's a big family, and I find myself getting to June of the year just wanting to have this reunion again. I can't wait to be here. What is, what, what is your favorite part of the convention other than the camaraderie, the seeing your friends? What, what do you look forward to uh, about the most? I look forward to the classes because there's always something new to learn here. Someone has innovated something, somebody gives you that idea that you didn't think about before and that you can take back to your community and, and become that rock star because nobody has ever seen it before. So, and it's just sharing, the sharing that goes on here. Incredible, incredible. If uh, someone were to come up to you and say, gosh, I think I'd like to do that, what would you advise them? How would you, how, how would you advise them? If they've, already, let's say they even you know, already know, because we're not talking necessarily about the, the skills themselves. What would be your encouragement to them to pursue this or to follow their dream? Practice, practice, practice. No matter what you do in this life, you have to practice to become proficient at it. If you don't practice, you're gonna, it's gonna fail. Whether it be auto mechanics, whether it be ventriloquism, or whether it be funeral directing, you have to practice your art and your skill. And that's the biggest thing I tell them. Practice and don't be afraid to fail. We all fail at some point in our life. But you get better because, like they said earlier, you get up and do it. Definitely. Chuck, they're getting drunk in the hallway. So, <laughs> edit that out. Chuck. <laughs>